اسلامی از دقدقه های همیشگی رهبر معظم انقلاب در دنیای اسلام بوده و هست ایشان در باری مند هدایت شونده و دور ایستای یاسین اهداف از پیش تعیین شده را با موفقیت منحدم کرد هواپیمای میگ 29 نیز با شلیک موشک های بهینه شده ی هوا به هوا موشک شلیک شده از هواپیمای دشمن فارسی را با موفقیت راهگیری و منحدم کرد مرحله اصلی و عملیاتی نهمین رسمش اقتدار هوا هوایی فدایان حریم ولایت از دیروز با نام مقدس یا صادر آل محمد علیه السلام در منطقه عمومی اصفهان با شرکت هفت پایگاه نیروی هوایی ارتش با محوریت پایگاه هوایی شهید بابایی آغاز شد امیر سنلشکر موسوی فرماده کل ارتش هم گفت همه یه به دوربین کنترل سرعت نزدیک شهید مسئل ارز میکنه خبری اومده و بعد از اون گلاغا توضیحاتی دادن خب... به تدوین آقای یاسین هجاز این کتاب که خب یکی از پرفروش ترین کتاب های ماست و امروز به چاپ بید. این کتاب که خب یکی از پرفروش ترین کتاب های ماست و امروز روزگاری شده باید چی شد زید؟ پدرم تاب نیاورد جلو رفته پرسید ای من همچنان همراه ما باشید پانزده و سی و چهار دقیقه از اینجا شبکه رادیوی جوان و این نهله های مختلف فکری داری که اینها خیلی طاله من خود ولی نمه های خلاه های ایران در بانک های امریکا توقیف می شود امام اما از حرکت دانشجویان تجلیل می کند و آن را انقلاب دوم می خاند شما می بینید که الان مرکز فساد اندوکا را جوان ها رفتن گرفتن و اندوکا هم که در اونجا بوده گرفتن و اون لانه فساد را به ترس آوردن اندوکا هم هیچ غلطی نمی کند و جوان ها مطمئن باشند که اندوکا هیچ 5-2019 has further internationalized this conflict. In response to the shutdown called by pro-freedom camp of Kashmir, shops and businesses remained closed. Huge number of government forces were seen guarding the streets to avoid law and order problems. Almost seven decades ago, these laws were introduced to empower the Muslim majority of Kashmir. But today, when the Hindu nationalist party and Janata party is repeating and amending the same laws, the people of Kashmir are watching over helplessly. Experts say this move clearly depicts India's intentions in Kashmir. Shana Bhatt, Indian Administered Kashmir. The U.S. economy just recorded its largest quarter of economic growth ever, 33%. Too bad it comes on the heels of a 31% plunge in the last economic quarter. The seven-month-long failure to pass a second stimulus package pushed stocks to their worst week in seven months. The U.S. appears to have been taken by surprise by the long-expected autumn wave of coronavirus, with new lockdowns creating major anger among the businesses who weren't bankrupted by the spring lockdowns. The small manufacturing businesses, even small service businesses, we need to uh, assume their expenses uh, so that when we're on the other side of the pandemic, uh, they're still viable. There isn't a, there isn't a, 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 a will to do that, and I think that's because uh, the government's really controlled by the major corporations and major banks, and they don't want it. Pro-Trump media coverage is dominated by the ever-ballooning allegations of major financial corruption by the Biden family. Joe Biden has never disputed the authenticity of the proof which alleges corruption, but he has denied the allegations of corruption. Anti-Trump media is focused on widespread fears of post-election violence. I, I tend to think we're going to get through the election okay, you know, uh, but you know, there, there are enough crazy people out there and it's been promoted. That type of hatred has been promoted, uh, well, by, by Trump, uh, uh, it's been promoted uh, by television stations. Right-wing media says the polls show that Donald Trump might lose the general election but will handily win the electoral college vote. Their claim is based around the so-called shy voter theory that Trump supporters aren't talking honestly to polling agencies. Centrist media says the majority of polls maintain a small but narrowing lead for the challenger Joe Biden. They say Biden will win handily when the record number of mail-in ballots are totally counted, which could take many weeks. Add all that up, 
and throw in a few more vital issues which we don't have the space to list. And it's clear that America is heading into a historic election in a hugely chaotic state marked by fear, uncertainty, and hysteria. The vote is on Tuesday, November 3rd. Robin Mazahari, Chicago. More protests were held in the Italian capital on Saturday over the government's decision to impose tougher measures to contain the spread of the pandemic. Early in the afternoon, hundreds of far-right demonstrators staged a rally in Campo de Fiori against a new decree which has ordered the closure of gyms, cinemas and theatres, requiring cafes and restaurants to close their doors at 6 p.m. Clashes with police were recorded during the demonstration.